the next topic what we are going to discuss is ABAP data types and then followed by the parameter concept okay so what is uh, what are ABAP data types uh, sorry, data types in CDS use sometimes we may have a requirement to define some extra columns with the corresponding data type okay so for example if you if we take this uh, AC docker table in AC docker table each column consists of some data type for example RLDNR ledger so if you see here this is the data type of this column is care and the length is 2 and if we take physical here it is of type numc numc means numerical string okay of length 4 and if we take this uh, you know currency columns and all then those are of amount and currency columns and there are some columns with the decimals okay so uh, some de uh, date fields with the date uh, data type okay all these are different data types we are uh, we are having in ABAP to represent the data in the particular format okay so now coming to this CDS use we can uh, use all those data types built-in data type in ABAP dictionary also in our CDS use so here I mentioned some of the examples for example ABAP.car ABAP.car means it is a character string Okay, means which and within the brackets we need to mention length. It means uh, how many characters that you are going to suppose to provide that one. For example, if we take any sales document number, it is a character string of length 10. Sales document number, delivery number, you know, all those with length 10, even customer number also. And the material, then if it is a care of length 18 or 32 sometimes, like that. Okay, string means which are not you know specific to some length but can up to 256 characters then we can define those columns as a string okay so what exactly this data type means is in the excel for example if we check here each column in the table must bind to one data type for sure even it is in a CDSU or in the backend ABAP table each column in the view or in the table definitely must bind to one data type here sales document number is char 10 character string of length 10 date is dats which is in yyymmdd format company code of length 4 char 4 we can give our mnumc4 if it is numeric number material char 18 okay each column must associate with some data here quantity we have quantity of you know same quantity is one of kind of data type which associated with the corresponding unit unit is char 3 length 3 here okay so like this uh, that's the reason the data type is very important point here if you want to store some integer number of uh, you know max three digits then you can define into one if it is max five digits then five these are integer data types okay dates is eight eight digit number here decimal places also we can have a data type quantity currency unit uh, you know uh, rastering time timestamp all are having different data types so why we need to learn about these data types means in the parameters so parameter is one of the concept in CDS view so parameter is one of the concept in CDS views so why we use parameters in CDS views means generally uh, when we are learning the CDS views I already explained about where condition okay so when coming to this where condition whatever i am passing on the where condition all these are static values it means all these are static means constant values for example um, whatever uh, company codes here i mentioned those are static it means when i go for data preview i can i i always see only for these four company codes for suppose I want to see some other company code data from this CDS view, then I cannot change it until unless I go to CDS view and change at coding level, means at this course select statement level, activate it, then only I can see some other data here. Until and that now I will see always see the four company codes only, okay, in the CDS view. But if you want to provide these kind of filters, you know, dynamically at runtime then we use parameters so parameters create a selection screen to your um, to your uh, select statement or cds view 
Now let's see one example which gives more clarity about this concept. Let's try, try to create one calculation view with one input, sorry, one CDS view with input parameter. Then uh, you will understand uh, how, what exactly input parameter is and uh, how exactly it affects the output. So what we do, let's take this example only, okay. So I am uh, now, for example, I deleted the other thing. Now this is a simple CDS view, uh, view entity, uh, bringing these columns, okay. Now if I right click here, open with the data preview, I am getting all the data from, you know, here. For example, if I want to see how many records it is fetching, you can right click here, distinct values of this one then it will provide the distinct values of these and each count also it will provide. So 2022 data, I have around 1378 records are there. 2023, I have around 960 records are there. So now next, now let's see how to define a parameter in the CDS view entity. how to define a parameter in the CDS view entity and uh, how to pass values to it also, we will look into it. So the syntax for CDS view parameter is here. Um, for example, if we see here, define view and then the view entity name immediately followed by the with parameter keyword, okay? After the parameters, we are providing the select keyword, okay? That is very important. Uh, now let's go back here. After providing the view entity name, press enter. And before this uh, select and after this uh, view entity name, we need to write with parameters. And then you need to provide the parameters. Okay, it's kind of selection screen. For example, uh, as a naming convention for all parameters, we use P underscore. Okay, P or starting with the P at least. Okay, P underscore R B U K R S. Let's say. R B U K R S. Okay. So after R B U K R S, this is a parameter. But what it what kind of input it is going to accept? That is important. Means if it is coming on my selection screen, okay, I so into four. So we are going to define one parameter R underscore uh, P underscore R B U K R S. Now, what kind of input it is going to accept that we have to define here. So for that, what we do, we will define the, this particular input parameter is of which data type. That is important, okay? So like this, we need to define here. Uh, here also we can define, now we need to write colon and then abap dot. So here we see all the abap type, you know, this one of type care and then length let's say company code is of length 4 so i'm giving 4 so i created one input parameter p underscore rbukrs which is of character type max length is 4 it means if i am trying to give some input to this one it accepts only four characters not more than that now this parameter i need to pass as a where condition here where rbukrs is equal to dollar. So when you are uh, trying to consume the value, okay, um, let's look into it after uh, giving the example output. Hmm, I will mention that. Activate. Because when you see the output, understanding how this is executing, then understanding the code will be more easy. Let this come out. Now I am going for data preview. Open with data preview. Earlier, when I go to data preview, I am supposed to get the output directly, but now 
before it is extracting data from the AC Docker table, it is asking me provide some value for this P underscore RBU Keras, which is nothing but the name which we defined in my parameter. Okay, so now I need to type something here. When I'm typing here, you see system is saying what you are going to type is not more than four characters. That's why this is uh, using this particular data type and everything system is telling me, okay, you are supposed to provide this kind of input only, not as per your wish. So I can give uh, four characters max. So I'm going to give the, uh, what data I have here, 1200, right? I have some data for 1200. So I am giving 1200 here, which is of max four length of type care, which is matching then open data preview then what system is going to do? It is extracting exactly the 1200 company code data. How system exactly fetching 1200 means in my select statement on the where condition, I am passing whatever input I given to this my input parameter, I am passing as a selection to this RPU KRS column. So using this it is same. Now what happened for example, I changed my mind and I want to see data for a different company code. Now I go to the parameter section, now I provide here 7400, 7400, mm -hmm. what happened, yeah, it's low bit, come on, sorry, because system is a bit slow, it is not at all taking my input. Zero, zero. Okay, you see now I got two records for the 7400 company code. Earlier we don't have this kind of option. Whatever we are hard coding in the where condition, only I am getting that data. But now it is more generic, dynamic. What, whichever I am passing in my parameter section, I am getting only those. Okay, so this is how uh, how input para, uh, you know parameters will be helpful in the uh, query CDSU execution. When we have too much data in the C in the backend tables and we want to restrict the user to extract too much data, then we generally provide input parameter like uh, parameters on those columns so that uh, only selected data he can see on the output. Okay, so that is how it is. For our second example, now let's take another parameter on uh, some data type, okay? In our uh, AC Docker table, we have a column BUDAT, posting date, which is of type dates, okay? For example, if you want to see data with respect to data, then we can define a parameter P underscore BUDAT and then colon ABAP dot dates. Why I'm defining dates here? because my BUDAT is of date date type, okay? Instead of date here, if I try to define with the car and all, you know, there will be again a type constraints, you make, data type issue may come, okay? That's why always when you are providing this data type, make sure what data type you are on which column you are applying this particular filter and take the data type of that particular column and provide that here, okay? Now here on the where condition, BUDAT, let's say, greater than parameters dot p control space p d u t okay now activate this right click open with the data preview now it is asking for the date. You see here, when I am clicking here, uh, my cursor, it is asking of uh, date and type date. Okay, so let's say 2024, 0501. Then open data preview. Then it extracts data, which is, um, oh, sorry, let me check one more time. 2024, 2020, okay, okay, sorry, 2023, I have to provide. I have around 18 records are there, which is the greater than 2025 zero, you know, uh, So here, okay, here you see on my output, there is no BUTAT column. That's the reason you cannot see it. Let's add BUTAT also to our output, BUTAT. Activate. Right click. 
open with data preview 2023 Now, if I see my BUDAT, okay, you can see all are from fifth month only, all these data set. Okay, so like this, we can use a parameters. So we can have multiple parameters also. I am using currently one parameter, but we can have multiple parameters also. Okay.